Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's Big P here. But you already know that, don't you? Because that's why you get tuned in. I'm joined by Mickey Theo from Essex today. How are you doing, Mick? What's happening, Russ? All right. Yeah. Have, have you seen out of John Fury? <laughs> Of who? Sorry, I didn't hear that. John Fury, have you, has it, have you, have you seen him? Has anybody seen him? You speak a bit louder, my ears are going. Have you heard out from John Fury? Has he been in touch? Don't know who you're talking about, mate. I don't, <laughs> think he wants to, I don't think he wants to know me. I think he's fucking bollocks are gone. Has he gone um, missing, Mick, do you think? He's missing in action, isn't he? He's missing in action, mate. We better get some fucking leaflets out there and say, you know, yeah. put the hunt out for John Fury. I think his arsehole's gone. He's <laughs> clucking, 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 Yeah. I should send him that clip. You know the chicken clip? Stick yeah. that in there as well. <laughs> Some blokes hunting John down, isn't he, on YouTube? Apparently so, yes. Listen, John Fury. I've had enough of your fucking shit. Right, about your be your fifty four year old fucking uh, boxer for, who will be any fucking heavyweight in the world. <laughs> Listen, well I'm at heavyweight from the WF ABC, yeah. I'm the Rambo, yeah. Right, Mick Delaney, Georgie Groves, Daniel Dubious, James DeGal. I was Mick Delaney's first heavyweight, yeah. And I'm a southpaw just like you, John. And I will knock you the fuck spark out. If I couldn't knock you out in the first round, yeah, I swear to God, I will give the fucking game up, yeah? Someone said to me the other day, I was quite um, quite amazed that the geezer's... He's, he's talking right though, isn't he, the guy? He's saying, you're talking full of shit. I'm, or, sorry, I'm fed up with the shit that you're coming out with. Basically, he's been probably following it, hasn't he? Um, coming out with all the shit, he's challenging everyone and not just... Uh, it's all right to challenge someone, but, but take yourself up on it, you know what I mean? If you're saying you're X-rated, you're this and you're that, and you're the number one man, and you want to call that fucking, especially the top, the top pros like Tyson's and all the, you know, around Holyfield's and all that now in the mix, um, when he can't face a, a, a novice like me, that's really, you know, he's a professional. He should grip his teeth, stop clucking, come out. But he shoots to hide instead. It must be embarrassing. I speak to a lot of travelling boys and gypsies. I'll tell you what, mate. I've lost it all half of John. At the beginning, it was all John this, John that, John this, John that. And now it's fucking, oh, that, that, it's gone against him, I think. You know? So, well, listen, he's going to live with it, not me. You know? I can hold my head up high. Do you think John Fury's got a squeaky bum, Mick? Squeaky ain't the word, mate. I think he's shitting himself. More than squeaking, it's fucking bits of fucking plop plops coming out. You know, it's like laying eggs, but laying shit instead. That's what I think he's doing, mate. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's madness, isn't it? Well, that, it, that's reality, you know what I mean? Oh. Well, I think that geezer Rambo, um, all due respect, take my hat off to him, you know, for even calling John out, because, look, not many people in this world would do that, yeah? Yeah. Um, but he shouldn't have mentioned Tyson, his son, because he's got nothing to do with it, is he? Tyson's doing his thing, he's a professional... Um, you don't call people out like that and call, especially insult them, calling them chicken eggs. I think that's a bit not right. Below the belt, mate, you know. Um, that's wrong for him to do it. But call, call the fucking X-rated man out, definitely, you know. One that doesn't fight. One that we haven't seen him fight. X-rated um, man. 100%. Don't well, he, well, you heard him. You killer, heard him. Killers all in our beds. You heard him on the shout <laughs> calling him back on, on, on the first call out. You're messing with the best. I'm John Fury. I'm X Rated out now. <laughs> That's what he said. You know what? That's what mate, he said. Mate, do you know when I were a teenage, you know, if you saw the word X Rated, you'd think it was some porno, wouldn't you? Not? Exactly. On the shop. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. X you wouldn't say you were X Rated, you'd say you were first division, wouldn't you? If you were old school, wouldn't you? <laughs> But, uh, you know, well, if you say something in life, you know, I believe do it, you know. And if you're a traveling man, especially, yeah. you know, you've got to come out, you know, yeah. um, or at least come out and say, you know what, I don't want to fight you. End the story, no problem, you know. I've always said it to you, John. I know you're going to be listening to this one day. You don't want to fight, just say it, mate. And I'm um, listen, it's only a challenge at the end of the day, 
There's nothing against anyone. There's no, you know, malicious anything. It's about you saying about Dana White, you smash him, you smash this one, and then you smash everyone else. So I think about, you're 54, I'm 56. I think I'm fucking fitter than you. I reckon I could do in a boxing match. And that's the truth. So let's get out and prove it. Or fucking come out on the internet and say, I'm not interested, mate. Yeah. You know, your bottle's still going to go. You'll still be classed as a bottle job. Um, so quickly you come out and say, the quicker we stop fucking doing these videos. You know, you haven't said, Mick, leave it out. I don't want to do it. Yeah? I respect that. But you haven't. All you're doing is telling people to pick the fucking phone up because I'm ready and I'm this and I'm fucking that and I do this and I fucking do that. Yeah, well, do it. Come out. Yeah? You're just making a fucking idiot of yourself. That's what you're doing. I believe anyway. And I think a lot of people will... I mean, listen. Simple. Come on Porky's channel. Okay? He will be the scrutineer and we can have a face-off. Even if you don't want to do the fight, come on the channel and speak to people. The crowd want to hear what it's all about. There's millions of people out there who want to see the fight, John. Alternatively, millions of people would like to see the face off, even if you don't want to do it. Yeah? Respect one another and just say what we've got to say. We're finished. And have a lovely Christmas. Simple, mate. You know? It, it won't be a, a friendly one, though, would it, on here, would it? Why not? Why not? Why would it be a friendly one? I don't know, because things have been said well, between both. Listen. I would not, I would not, listen, if he, if he wants to start getting mouthy and all this and that, I'll just, you know, I'll go, I'll say, Russ, do me a favour, mate, cut this thing. We're talking to someone that don't have any um, professionalism in them, gentlemanly in them, manly in them. What, you're going to start screaming and shouting like a baby with your nappies gone? Put a fucking dummy in your fucking mouth to shut him up. What are we going to do? You have a come out, have a speak like we're speaking out. Simple. You can say your bit. I didn't like the way you called me out. I'm this and I'm that. And I said, well, John, you challenge people. You're calling everyone out. So someone's going to call you out if it ain't me. Which the, the what's that geezer's name? Rambo. Yeah. You know? So you're going to get it. If you're going to fucking start giving it to your fucking, you're this and you're that, you're going to get challenged at the end of the day. And that's all I've done, mate. A man-to-man -man challenge. Respectful challenge, yeah? Then you start going on fucking doing it this one and doing it that way and doing it this way and do that. You're not a fucking man to say that, mate. If you're a proper travelling gypsy man, sorry, you're a professional fucking boxer, ex-professional boxer, do it in a ring properly, mate. Like I suggested at the beginning. Simple. Stop fucking clucking. Stop fucking ducking me, trying to go to Mike Tyson and all the others. Because they'll fucking annihilate you anyway, mate, you know? I don't think you're worth two bob. Like you said, you were, you said it yourself. You ain't worth 50 pence. They're your words, mate. I'm worth a lot more than 50 pence, mate. I've got dignity in here. I like you. Yeah. yeah. So what, you're going to fight the... What, so what are you going to... Who are you going to fight? You're going to fight me? You're going to fight the Rambo? Were you scared of the fucking Rambo as well? Yeah. Rambo's out of order for calling, calling out um, your, your, your son. Um, and I'll stick on you on that one. Or all the viewers... Bang out of order for fucking mentioning Tyson's name. You know, he's a elite fucking athlete. He's a top, he's the top we've got at the moment. And he'll piss all over Joshua as well, I believe. That's coming from here. Not because he's your son, because he's Tyson Fury, mate. He's been down my gym years ago, sparring with Mark Potter. Yeah. Um, we've got still got pictures in in the gym. Um, seems like a great guy, entertainer. You, you're all fucking mouth. That's all you are, mate. X-rated bollocks. X-rated chicken. Sorry, Yankee cock chicken lane chicken. That's what you are, mate. So, like I say, if you don't come out on the channel or your own little version, yeah, saying you don't want to fight, no problem. I respect you for your wishes. But listen, this is a challenge. You said you're the best. I take all comers. Let's go. So I've called you out, mate, on my own. Done my own little thing on the internet and called you out. Because I believe I'm, I'm better and stronger than you, and fitter than you, and older than you. And I, when I, I wasn't an ex-pro, I play in the gym. I love playing in the gym, that's what I do. And I, I think I run circles around you, but listen, until you come out and show the crowd what you can do or what I can do, I'm done.
or Rambo might fucking come and hunt you down. Like you said, listen, you give him your fucking phone number if you want in the field. He'll, he'll fight you in the field. Yeah? He will fight you in the field. Give him your address. He'll go to Billy Joe's back garden. He'll go anywhere you want. Give him your address. Let's see if he turns up. Well, he, he might be a mouthy geezer. I don't know. But the challenge is there for you to do back garden. You want to do back garden, do it with Rambo. Yeah? Rambo doesn't don't want nothing out of it. He just wants to go and fucking give it to you because you, you, he's fed up with all the bollocks you're coming out with, like he said in his video. Listen, it takes a brave man, brave man to go and do that, you know what I mean? And he wants to do it with you. So get on the phone to him, give him your address, well, you've already given it out on the internet, but give it to him personally, shout it out to him. This is for the Rambo. This is my address. Come up on a certain date and let's see if he turns up. He might be... Luck, luck, luck as well. You know, I don't know. Who knows what these people are like? A lot of people fucking do the talking and not the walking. But I'm doing the talking and I'm doing the jogging, not the walking, mate. I'm the jogging. So I'm here when you're ready, son. Come out or shut up. It's all I've got to say to you. Yeah, let's get it on. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Promise me one thing, you'll turn. John, up. I think this big bad wolf's blown you away. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking blown away, mate. Not me. You are fucking blown away. Are you yeah. gonna shit up, mate. Hey? Are you gonna that? rip shit up when you see John? <laughs> well, no. Listen, he's giving it all the fucking turn up Sunday morning, blah blah blah. Because I got seminar coming up. I don't want to look like cunt. <laughs> Simple, mate. Prove the world to what you are. Yeah, it's uh, Russ, I can't say no more, mate. Yeah, you you put you, I think you got your point across there. That I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't I can go like a fucking know. idiot all night long talking to him about him. Yeah, you know, well, he ain't worth talking about. Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> you do want to fight him, don't you, Mick? And you just want to get you going to get you know, I want to fight him, Blow a bit of steam off. You know what, Kanakas are. Kanakas. Yeah. I nice. have the I help the fucking Kanakas. Yeah. And I'm I'm a fucking half paddy as well. <laughs> you know, we're still getting funny messages, didn't we? We what? Were you still getting a few funny messages? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they, I don't know. Oh, I think a lot of these call him, isn't it? Should we call him should we call him Lord John? Because <laughs> I think people look up to him like he's a lord. You know? well, I mean, he's not. He's not a gypsy man. He's not a proper fighting gypsy man. Well, I mean, he's not a graded either. He's you. Uh, you rated so the kids can see it as well. Watch it. I think that's all he is. Well, hopefully you'll get it on and get get your beef sorted, won't you? You and John. It's a beef. It's a challenge. Challenge. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. There's no beef. I don't have any beef with anyone in my in, yeah. in my life. It's, it's it, he got on. The internet, like he loves fucking all the fucking bollocks that goes on the internet and social media. He loves it. He thrives on it. Yeah. Yeah. You're messing with the mist. You're messing with the mist. But John's Big quite fashion. funny. John's quite funny, you know. You know, if you if you see something, it's, I, I look at some and I, I, I know it's pantomime, but it's good pantomime, isn't it? Because that's what it's a always... pento. He's a proper pento, isn't he? Well, yeah. He's a proper penzo. Yeah, but all this is in it. It's all fucking. I love fighting. I went away for twelve years because I love fighting. No, you went away for fucking taking someone's eye out. Your fucking best pals. That's disgusting. Yeah, disgusting, mate. Damn great. You don't do things like that in this world. Yeah. What you could have done with him is simple. Have a chat with him respectfully. He's your best pal. Yeah. He's been around with you for years. I've, I've, I believe, you know what I mean? I, I, we speak quite often, you know? Seems like a lovely man, a gentleman. And you go and do that to him. That shows what type of person you are, mate. You don't like losing. You're scared to fight me in case you lose. That's what it's all about, John. Everyone's listening to this, John. Everyone in the whole world, mate. This has gone viral, mate. This is... They want to see... Beef there, Mick, that one, eh? Bitter What's that? Beef. Bitter intense beef, that, Mick, wasn't it? What's that? That was strong words, that, wasn't it? 
Strong words for what? Saying everyone knows it's gone viral? No, I'm just not on about... Yeah, I know, I know what you mean, yeah. I know what, what you about mean. poor Alfie? Is that you mean? Oh, no, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Sorry, what was the strong word? No, 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 I meant when you were when you're after that. You just I, I, I meant it in as a, as a bit of banter, make. <laughs> it's all banter at the end of the day, isn't it? At the end of the day, uh, listen, I've got clean heart. I don't have problems with yeah. anyone in my life. If someone challenges someone, and if someone gets on the internet, so listen, like Logan Paul's challenging, uh, what's his name, uh, Mayweather. You know, he's called out. He's called out um, the Irish man. You know what I mean, McGregor. Is it McGregor? Yeah. Yeah, you know, um, you know, McGregor was fucking piss all over him. So with, with the other fella, Lloyd, uh, uh, Lloyd, uh, Lloyd, Floyd William, uh, Floyd Mayweather, sorry. Um, but listen, they want to get you on. It's 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 it's. Listen, they're making big money out of it, you know. And now I see there's a lot of people challenging. I think John actually challenged. Um, I think I see it somewhere on the internet, or social media. John's challenged Logan Paul as well. Um, I've seen that somewhere. Yeah, he's done something on Instagram challenging him. <coughs> I think I've seen that Logan Paul. How can he get to America? I, I think I've seen that somewhere. Yeah. John and Rippy. Oh, oh, listen, when I've seen that, I thought, oh my God, here we go. He's at it again. He's clucking again at it, you know? Yeah. I mean, this is how I look at it. He's off. He's off a fight. You said yeah, and somewhere along the lines between virus and things being agreed and not, mate, it's not oh. happened, has it? So maybe there's a chance down the line when it all up and when, when everything gets back to normal that you and him can get at it. Listen, we can get at it now. Listen, pay per view. Yeah. People sitting at home, they'd love to see this fight. You know, I've got. Listen, you've seen them, and I've I've seen many of them. You know. I've seen it. I think the one you sent me the other day saying that, you know, come on, John, get on Porky's channel. This is the fucking old world wants to see. It's a fight that everyone wants to see now. Big interest out there. Yeah. Did you, you sent me that one, didn't you? You know? There's, there is interest in that. I know what my inbox is telling me. You're packed up. You're fully loaded with your inbox. I know. You know? Are you and not... I've read it as well. So, you know. You can do it. Listen, we're doing it for good cause as well, you know, which is lovely, especially now with this second wave of red. NHS and, and mental health. Yeah. And um, I've got to be, give a big shout out to Stuart Livermore. Um, he's actually in, in, at hospital intensive care. And that's, that's, that's from my heart uh, this is coming from. All they've done in the last, I don't know, last month was go around children's hospitals and giving loads of presents out well, yeah and Stuart and his team especially Stuart as far as I know I haven't spoke to anyone close to him has called coronavirus and is in intensive care so special uh, this goes out of you Stuart I know you're a fighter you have been for many years and this is the biggest fight, fight of your life we know you can do it come out strong you're the governor, mate, and you can do it. I love you lots. And so does all the people that you've helped, all the kids you've helped, all them hospitals you visited, mate. So you God bless you, mate, and get well soon. Did you know about that, uh, Russ? No, I didn't Stuart? know about that, mate, no, no. Yeah, sad. Yeah. So come back to us, mate. Get well and get out of that hospital, mate, because I know you can do it. Right, then, moving on. What did you think to uh, Joshua Pula fight, Mick? Honestly, like, you, you know, I, I had money on, on Pulev to win. Um, I don't know what to say about that fight. Um, a lot of dancing. Um, so when I say dancing, a lot of sort of... He was on his toes and... Uh, not no punches were thrown. And it's like you know, shall I shall I shall I shall I shall I shall I? You know, it's all that business. Um, he should have just gone in for the kill. He's got nothing to lose, you know. He was better charging, charging uh, Joshua because it was a lot of this, wasn't it? All this business on the legs as well, moving, yeah. Well, Too much of that. Left. Hesitating is the word, yeah. Too much hesitating. Just fucking go in, head down, fucking give it, you know, give it what you got, you know. 
Um, he used to do that, didn't he? Sorry? He used to do that, yes. He used to do that. He doesn't know more. He's, he's trying to be a bit... I think he's trying to be a bit more technical now. And he's like, you know, it's all this business. Wait, 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 wait. But if he didn't wait and, 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 and moved in and... Uh, he even moved in with his jab, you know what I mean? Or moved in with, with, with some hooks or, or something, you know? A cut accommodations. It would have put Joshua off his off his off his stance and put him on his back leg. He should have just pushed him on his back leg all the way through that fight. Come come in as if he wants to knock him out. Like, for instance, um Derek Chisora done with Usyk, you know. Derek went for the kill, didn't he? Yeah. That sort of stance, you know. He should have gone in like he used to fight the same way. But he's lost a lot of weight off it, I believe. He looks like he's lost a lot of weight. And I, and I think um, he should have come in a bit heavier and just gone for the kill like the Derek done. Um, without Because he looks like he's got stamina. He's ex-SBS, I think. Um, so he's, you know, he's he's fucking hardly trained guy. He's a... Um, so, SBS. SBS, what's that? Uh, SBS is special soldiers. Like, we've got SAS. They, they've got SBS um, over there. Or it's a similar sort of um, um, special forces. Fucking hell. It's, it's fucking hell. <laughs> so if you've done that military training, you you become one of them people. I mean, it takes a lot to do one of them. So he's got that in him anyway, you know what I mean? He's, he's got he's got everything, his lungs, everything good about him he can do. He's been through many, many times. Um, so... Serious Falcon, mate, don't they? Very serious, but he, I think he should have gone in. You know, it looks like he's lost a lot of weight, which he, it was. He come, he, to me, he should have been a little bit heavier and just come in for the kill. There's too much dancing around, hesitating. Yeah, and I think Joshua could see that, and that's where Joshua started moving and loading. I mean, that lovely uppercut Joshua gave him, you could see Joshua stepping into it. Yeah, planting it and up in it. You could see that he was showing it to you. He was showing it to the boxer. Yeah, plain and simple. And he was well, about Frankenstein, though, isn't he, mate? He was about three, three, four foot away coming into it. Yeah, foot down, uppercut. You know, as if you could see a mile off. You know, um, listen, he, he, he is what he is. And Joshua, Joshua, done, Joshua showed a bit of class against him, to be honest. Yeah, to me, he showed a bit of class in how he look, even with put, um. Pulev went in, yeah. Joshua just stepped to the side and he's, he ended up punching the air, didn't he? At one stage, you see that? Seen it, yeah. He's come at him, Joshua just stepped. Boom, he's straight off him. That was a brilliant bit of work. And I've never seen Joshua do that before, you know? So he's he's been trained, right? And I believe um, he, he has become a better boxer. He's still hesitant to come in, Joshua. He's worried about getting banged out or chinned or whatever, you know? Still hesitant, but like I say, um, a few more fights that will go, I, I believe. And um, listen, anyone can get out in a fight, you know. It's it's more it's more so the punch you don't see, like Dylan might had, you know. Um, it's the punch you don't see which knocks people out mostly. When you see a punch coming, your body's getting ready for it, and it's getting ready for the impact. It's like when you almost have an accident in the car, you think, fuck, this big rush of hot fluid goes around you, doesn't it? It's getting ready for the impact. That's what it is. Same when a punch comes. You see it, you know it's coming, it won't knock you out. Yeah. So you've got to ride into it. You either got headbutt it, <laughs> you know, or push the glove away. Or ride with the punch, you know. But what do I know? I'm not no fucking boxer, am I? I'm not no pro, I'm not nobody. But someone's scared of me. Turn up. Come on a channel. You pussy. Yeah, you you know what? When all that when all this is over, you and John could end up playing backgammon in a pub having a pint, couldn't you, Mick? You never know. Life is strange. Oh, yeah. Listen, most people I've met some fucking heavy, heavy duty guys on the door, you know. Fucking tear ups, you know. Best powers now, you know what I mean. We've met that way, and they have total respect because I stood up to six foot four, six foot five geezers, you know what I mean. Fucking proper on it, you know. 
Um, no, I said to you, I think quite a while back, one of them, not mention no names, he's a good fellow of mine, you know, and they turned up 15 hands in my door. All my door went, Pfft, have some of that, and I fucking just like went for the main guy. And the rest of them fucking stopped, and it was just me and the main guy. And uh, yeah, we're best pals now, mate. Well, like to yeah. you, mate, won't you? We're phone calls away, mate, you know what I mean? So yeah. That's how you meet people sometimes. It's strange how you meet people. Was it destined destined to, to meet these people? Who knows? John might be the same. You never know, mate, do you? You never know. And if he and if he's and if he's listening to this video, he'll be fucking cursing me. <laughs> what did you think to Callum Smith fight then, uh, Mick? To be honest, yeah, I've, I've just seen the highlights. I haven't seen the, the main fight. Yeah. But um, I heard um, the Canelo was smashing his uh, left arm up or something, which is his jabbing arm or something, and uh, it fucked him up a bit. Um, then it went to, I think he's talking about shoulder problems. Uh, but I'll probably see it tonight, to be honest, yeah. He's got torn bicep, didn't he, and a broken nose, Callum, didn't he? Yeah. Just, yeah, but I think because um, Canelo was smashing it away, he, he listen, he, knew, he knows what to do, doesn't he? Yeah, that wasn't best Callum Smith you'd, you that you'd, we've seen, though, was it? No, no, not the highlights I've seen. Maybe, listen, maybe Canelo performed out in his skin and Callum didn't, and sometimes it goes like that, doesn't it? It's on the night, you know. Some, I mean, you know, even in 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 in, in the gym, you know, you're training or you're sparring, you have some good, great spar. Some, I mean, some days you just can't turn it on, and it can happen during the night, doesn't it? I've said this before. And it's horrible when it happens, yeah. It's like it you frustrates you, you know, and it's not a good feeling. And you just want to get back in there with that person and, and have a rematch and, you know, turn that a result round, you know. Yeah, it's a funny game. Yeah. Uh, what do you think should be the main priority fight for next year for? Boxing to bring it back to the forefront. John Fury versus Mickey Fury. I thought you were going to say Tyson against Mike. <laughs> Sorry, Tyson Fury against Joshua. Then Mick. Well, okay. If you look at that that, that division, um, well, that's what everyone wants to know. You know, everyone wants to see that. I mean, jo Joshua's I'm running the pace more, just giving it a little bit, coming out of his shell a little bit. But he has to. He has to uh, give it. To, he yeah. keeps saying, you know. There's a, a, a nice little pot at the end of this, you know what I mean? You know, there's big money involved here, you know? A two-fight deal, half a million pound each. I mean, that's good money, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, they'll get paid. So, and, and no, sorry, half a billion, not half a million. Apologies on that. Oh, I don't think half a billion. Well, there'll be all sorts of people having yeah. a slice of cake if they do fight, won't they? Well, it's like Floyd Mayweather, he's meant to be fighting. God knows how much that's going to be. That's going to be 200, 300 grand, isn't it? Yeah. Minimum. And he's, they're nobodies. Even Floyd Mayweather, when he's over, he said, you know, boxing changed now. It's all so social media. And it's how many hits you've had and how many people are going to watch it and, and views, you know? Mate, give me but, two seconds. I need a piss. Two seconds. Yeah. yeah no problem, mate. <clears throat> yeah. Well, Paul, he's away. I'll keep chatting. It's all about social media. Um, it's all about uh, nowadays how much money's in a pot, how much each person can make, and uh, it looks like it's 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 more money in social media now uh, than than boxing than what the boxers are making, and the boxers are working harder than the non-boxers that want to become boxers on the social media. Um, just got into boxing and. Um, like Logan Paul had the first fight. I mean, they're, they're, they're YouTube uh, guys. Um, they're not boxers, but they, they thought get it on. And basically, it was a business deal, which they done, which led them to, you know, millions of people doing a pay-per-view and coming out victorious in their pockets, you know. And now they've accelerated that to um, now fighting Floyd Mayweather. Conor McGregor call outs and things like that. And Floyd Mayweather got on the um on the uh channel the other day saying, you know, boxing changed, it's all social media. That's and that's why he's fighting uh, Logan Paul. He's thinking, where can I get the next bit of money from? 
and he's a clever man, Rob Floyd. Um, and he's he's heading down for Logan Paul because he, he knows he can make money off him. And obviously Vegas looks after uh, Mayweather because basically when there's a fight on, he runs he runs a show. You know, he pulls a crowd. So um, it's all about, you know, nowadays, the bigger money fights and who's going to win. So while you was having a piss, I'm just t- telling the, the, the people out there about um, nowadays, it's all about, so Floyd Mayweather says, it's all about social media. He's going to be fighting Logan Paul because he knows he's got 40 million viewers. He's going to have 40 million pay-per-viewers. Yeah, and that's where well, the money is. Clever man. Yeah, he's not bothered about people saying, oh, you can't do this to the sport. He's not bothered. He's, he's retired now. Yeah, this is exhibitions, isn't it? Listen, going back to me and John, yeah? If that becomes a pay-per-view, how many people are going to watch us? They're going to want to watch it, you know? Yeah. Boxing is now becoming a business, yeah? Yeah. And as it is, professionals, that is a business because they're earning, if you're up there and you're carrying a belt or two, a title or two, you're looking at big money, yeah. you know? And that's what boxers strive for, yeah? Belts. Winning, 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 getting to the top, become whatever champion of the world, whatever class, whatever belt, yeah? And that's what life's all about at the end of the day. So, John, come out. Let's get it on pay-per-view. Let's earn a nice few quid, especially for the NHS. And what's wrong about that, mate? You stand to nick a nice few quid out of this and, <laughs> what, you don't want to come out and fight me? You have to live with it, like I say. Not a problem. Your decision, mate. But I will keep coming out to you say I don't want to fight you, Mick. And I respect that. <clears throat> hey, Mick, has anybody uh, been in touch with you about that reward we've put out for the guy who John knocked out in an underground bare knuckler? You know it's all bollocks, mate. The same as me. Yeah. That money would probably earn interest if you put it in the bank. Yeah. That going nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right then, mate. Well, I think we'll leave it on. Who's your pound for pound top five in world boxing at the moment, Mick? Who's my top five? Who's your top five? <sighs> top five. Well, Canelo's Canelo's one of them. Um. Theo, what's his surname? Theo, see, it's a Theo as well, like me. Theo Fennell or something, his name? What is it? The one that's beaten um, the Russian. Um, um, Theofomo the, Lopez. Theofo, yeah. He's another Theo, isn't it? Starts off with Theo again, you know? Oh, one of me. Uh, oh. Theofomo. Yeah. <laughs> so that's two. You know, they're the one... your brother, you're sounding like a Spencer Fearon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's Spencer Fearman's related, Spencer Fearman's related to every black world champion, heavyweight, lightweight, middleweight boxer going back to 1850, isn't he? Yeah, I think Lomachenko he wants a rematch with that, that Theo. Um, so he, he's on my list. Um, um, who else? Obviously, Tyson Fury's on my list. Um, so you got Tyson Fury. Oh, you, you and Tyson gonna oh, I'm gonna say you mean it top five, yeah, yeah, in your top five. Yeah. I thought you were putting yeah. on Tyson there. <laughs> what? Mike Tyson. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get that. What'd you say? I thought you were putting it on Tyson Fury then. You wanted to fight him. No, 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 no. Oh, no. he's in your top no. five. Yeah, yeah he's on my top five. Oh, top fight you thought. Oh no, he's top one of a top fight. So Tyson's, you know, Lomachenko, that Theo that beat him, I think they'll come back on a rematch. Yeah. Canelo. Um, <clears throat> Canelo, and there's, there's one more to make it five, isn't there? Um, probably the uh, Garcia, one of the young Garcias. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, and and, and, and you know what? I like, I like Danny Garcia as well. You know, he, he's a great fighter. I don't know, I've got something about Danny. I think he's a great guy. And Danny Garcia, is he one of your pound for pound, mate? Yeah. Touch and go on him, but I do like him. He won't get in my top 25. Mm. Danny Garcia, mate. 
he won't get my top 25. He's a bin man. But uh, my top five, Mick, is it, it can go in any order for anybody. You've got to have Canelo in there, haven't you? Yeah. You've got to have Usyk because he, he dominated at Cruiserweight. He's just he's just had two. Okay, but he's now becoming a heavyweight, and I don't think he's gonna. He ain't going nowhere in heavy personally. On what he's achieved, Olympic gold. Oh, what he's achieved. Okay, yeah, okay. What he's achieved. You have to play him in for that, won't you? And he's in line to fight Joshua, if Joshua wants to fight him next. He said he would step aside for that fight to happen, didn't he? He's not going to get paid. Out. So if he gets paid, if he gets paid enough, he'll step aside. And I've had all Spence in there as well. Uh, yeah, what's the what's the young one? The um the light skin guy that's under Floyd Mayweather's he's great. Oh uh, Tank Davis. Davis, great Tank fighter. Davis. Yeah, yeah. Another one. Like great fighter. Well. Great fighter. Him as well. But what about Josh Taylor? I like him as well. Josh Taylor is yeah, I think Josh is coming to the end of his road. Tyson Fury, heavyweight champion in it, ring magazine. Well. Yeah, yeah. No, t- listen, you've got to give it a Tyson. You've got to give it a Tyson, mate. Come on. What he's come from Joshua's and what he's become. Mate. Joshua's not in my top 20. Joshua's no, I'd I, 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 say Joshua's in the top 10. You've got to minimise it to 10, I think, with Joshua. All right. What about John Fury? Joshua in top 10. Come on. Easy. What, do you think Dylan White can take him out? No. You think Usyk can take him out? No. Usyk won't Usyk take him. beats Joshua. Oh, he's definitely going to lose. Oh, who's going to lose? Joshua? No, you. <laughs> oh, well, well, we're, we're up to one, I bet, Mick. We're up to 100 quid now. So if they fight, it's 200 of them, double or nothing then, yeah? Definitely. Oh, no, uh, right. I think, I think honestly, <laughs> I think Joshua will pee all over Usyk. Do you? All day long. All day long. Well, we're going to see, aren't we? We're going Cruiser, to I know cruiserweight and heavyweight is different, different class. I mean, he's a small man, uh, you see, very small man, you know, compared to the heavyweights out there now. His build is small as well, you know. Oh, I forgot he's got great footwork, hasn't he? What run he's going to run away from? Do you know Usyk's four inch taller than Mike Tyson? And he was a small man, Mike Tyson, wasn't he? Yeah, but Tyson had the, the, the beef behind him, didn't he? He had the power behind him. That's the difference, you know? Osek's not got a bad KO percentage, has he, really? Plus, he's very tight. When, when you start getting in with heavyweights and trying to knock them out, it's a different story, isn't it? I don't know. He's somebody like Osek. He's like, between a cruiserweight, Mickey, and he's between a heavyweight, so he's in between a foot weight, but he ticks every single box for everything else, doesn't he? And we've heard horror stories about him sparring Vladimir from Johnny Nelson on Sky. Horror stories about Usyk, what, what he was doing to Vladimir in sparring. Dave Allen says he's best he's ever sparred, and he's sparred Tyson Fury for years. Well, he says Usyk's the best he's sparred. Dave Allen says he's the best he's ever really? sparred. Really? Yeah. Wow. Maybe, uh, maybe movement. Maybe movement and footwork and, you know. Well, that does help, doesn't it? <laughs> No, yeah, but um, yeah. But, um, the big gold medalist is won every fight at cruiserweight, dominated, mm-hmm. and undisputed, mm-hmm. goes to heavyweight, and just his school Chisora. And we're talking about him for a world title next. Yeah. So he had, he had, he had, every box has been ticked from Osek. He hasn't let anybody down so far as what he's doing mm-hmm. and everything. So I'd say he's a very serious player in heavyweight division. I'll tell you two others <laughs> I'd see as serious. Yo, well, we'll see. Tony Yoka and Joe Joyce. Listen, I think Joe Joyce shocked me when he fought um, Daniel Dubois. Yeah. Um, I thought, honestly, I thought Dubois was going to take him, but he showed up against someone heavier and taller. This is where this is where Anthony Joshua is going to struggle with Tyson. Yeah, he's used to sh- short guys. Tyson's up there and punching up there or trying to punch up there. If you're a boxer, if I get pads up there and I go, go on in, give me 10 or 20, you'll struggle to punch up there. Yeah, do it there, no problem. There, no problem. But you try and punch in up the air, you're using more energy, you're trying to throw higher, 
you know. And um, that's where you're going to come unstuck, yeah. I believe. Yeah. So, uh, who do you think then between Joshua and Fury, mate, with the deal fight? Who do you think wins? And how There's does only one winner. Win? There's only one winner, the big man. How does he Talk. win? Points or knockout? Uh, I think he will win on points because he don't have the knockout punch, does he? Unfortunately. If he had that, it'd be, it'd be phenomenal. Um, points. Points, yeah. Definitely. Do you remember when he fought Chisora? He was just fucking jabbing everywhere. Chisora couldn't do nothing. That's what he's going to do to uh, Joshua. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love him to knock him out, but I don't think he's got that power as a heavyweight. He's lacking a bit of um, TKO, um, you know. Yeah, you think, yeah. But, I think, yeah, if, if he had that knockout punch like Wilder's got, you know. He didn't do the two bad uh, against Wilder, though Tyson, didn't he? he knocked him out, didn't he? It'd be, it'd be dangerous. It'd be very dangerous, you know, with that power to carry the force and the power because he's got everything else. He's got the reach, he's got the height, uh, which makes him unique. You know, he's been gifted with that, you know. Yeah. Um, hey, listen, even when he was like, he used to come out and joke on the press conference and fucking throw tables up and dress up as Batman and all that, you know, I love all that. Um, and he used to come out and pull his belly up and slap his belly. He goes, come on, big fat man here. He could still do the job then, you know? Yeah. Honestly, you know, he's just a great, great, he's a, he's a natural born fighter, isn't he? Yeah. That's yeah. what he is. You've got to take your hat off to the guy. So you've, right? so you've got Tyson winning on points against the Joshua then, yeah? All day long on points, you know, fucking box his head off all day, all, all night long he will, I believe. Well, I'm going to say that he stops in between round seven and nine. Tyson stops Joshua. Yes, yeah, stops him, yes. Between seven... Yeah, listen, there's, there's a big possibility he will stop him. But if if Joshua can... I mean, Tyson's talking about doing him in three rounds, isn't he? On his last shout-out, I've seen. I don't think it would be three rounds. I think he stopped him. Nah, nah, nah. Because um, Joshua's now round trying round. to box and run, isn't he? Hit and run. Hit and run. He doesn't want to stand there with terror. Um, listen, fighting the other fella the other day was 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 easy work for him. He's up against someone shorter, lighter, and not as good as him. So you know, he just looked classy with him. But when you get someone of the, of, of the stance and stature of of of, of uh, Tyson, different glass. He's got the height. He's got the reach. He's got the fucking listen. That guy can bounce around fifteen rounds. You know what I mean? For a big, tall man like that, there's not many big guys who can do that. Which, he's got that, isn't he? You know? He's got a good engine there. Yeah, he's 20-round uh, fighters, aren't they? Because they fight loose, don't they? They don't force everything, do they? So it's... Listen, look at... Look, uh, listen, look at um, Huey the other, the other week he fought. Won every round. Huey. Sorry? Huey won every round, didn't he? Yeah, but look at the first three, four rounds. Huey was trying a bit hard. When he started relaxing and let him just flick, 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 flick. What a difference. Different fighter. Yeah. It, it's like this is where du, uh, uh, um, Daniel Dubois went wrong with um, the juggernaut. He Joe tried Joe. too hard. Joe Joyce, sorry. Yeah, he tried too hard. Yeah. He was going for the knockout. He was... He was putting, exerting too much energy into them as if he wanted them. Instead of flick, 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 it's, you know, trying to put too much into it, which burns you out. Yeah, do you get yeah, burned off like when you put punches into a uh, punch bag like that? Do you get burnt out quick? You would do, yeah, of course. Yeah, it could be anything. It could be a punch bag, it could be a box machine, it could be anything. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You've got to just relax. It's, remember, speed kills, they say, don't they? Yeah. So um, it's just springing out, you know. Look at Joe Joyce. Dum, 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 pecking away. There's no, rah, was there? There was no, like, rah, pecking I want away. to kill him. Hey? Pecking away, like a wood he was. He was pecking away. Yeah. <laughs> and he was a funny dad, wasn't it? It was like one of them come over. But it was landy, wasn't it? He's got a long yeah, reach. Well, yeah. for him. Well, hey, I tell you what, we all had Joe Joyce down to get knocked out, didn't we? Because we all said he was slow. Listen, up. mate, listen, <laughs> listen. He was so relaxed, so cool. 
just flicking away. Do you know what? Joe Joyce could be best out of everybody, could he? Honestly. He, I'll he, tell you what, he, would you put Joe, would you say, you know, if Joe Joyce beat Joshua and Tyson Fury and Wilder, would you say, I'm really shocked and it were like a Mike Tyson, Buster Douglas moment? You wouldn't, would you, when you look at the, the credentials? Because he were robbed at Olympic gold, wasn't he? Mm. Like he got a silver, but let's say we're treating him as a gold medalist. People wouldn't treat him like they have. Have him down as somebody who's slow and ponderous because he's got George Foreman like thudding power, on he, in both hands. And you know what? He can take the shot. I mean, the yeah. work, he fucking he landed a few shots and he just shook him off, you know? He was like a juggernaut, you know, that's a good name for him. Yeah, well, that's why they call him it. Jug yeah, listen, he just he's I think he's come on a lot. Losing that weight really helped him. What next for Billy Joe Saunders? Mickey? Well, he wants the Canelo fight, doesn't he? You reckon, yeah. Or get him out with Murray. Have we heard these Martin Murray? He's just fought him. Sorry, who was the other fella um, that fought the other day? Um, Andrade. Demetrius Andrade, the other guy. No, no, no. Ryder, the guy Ryder. No? The guy that fought Canelo, um, Smith. Oh, Callum Smith, yeah. Callum, Callum, Callum Smith. Smith. That would be a good fight. Well, yeah, but there'd be, be arguments of it split, wouldn't there? Because Billy's a world oh. champion and Callum isn't. So there'd be arguments of a money with that. Whereas I think it should be an equal 50 50. I think that would be a good fight next. Yeah. yeah and then, and then split. Billy can go to Canelo. That's yeah. a pay per view, Callum and Billy Joe, on today's Of course, course it is. 20 pay per view all day. Definitely. I'd want to see it. <laughs> that would be a good fight. I'd um, want to see it. They're both in the peak, aren't they? Or maybe they're both they're both listen at the top of the peak. And, could you call could you uh, call a winner at that right now? It's hard, isn't it? No, after that last performance you couldn't know, but they both haven't performed brilliantly, have they, recently? Okay, but let's let's get his bicep back and repaired. That fight would be great before the Canelo fight. Billy takes out yeah. Smith to prove himself to go forward with Canelo. Yeah, that's probably... That, that's the way forward, I think. That's the best point you've made on here tonight, that, mate. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, thank you, mate. <laughs> yeah, that is that. Because he's like saying, look, I want Canelo. I'm going to beat the guy you've just fought and bump. Yeah, but I think they MC should fight first and then Canelo will be a bit wary about Bill. Do you think? You know? Yeah. Listen, uh, listen, I don't know. I just think Bill needs one more fight to polish up and, and have it against Smith. And that'd be a great fight. And it would be a pay-per-view fight. It'd be worth watching that as well. And once he beats him, well, then he can say, can I hang about? You beat him, I'll beat him. There's only me and you left, mate. Let's do it, you know? Yeah. That would be a great way forward for Bill. What about Eubank Jr.? Making all this, what oh, we're him? forgetting about him. We left him out, didn't we? Yeah, where do you I, think I he, like Chris? Where's his role in all this? Uh, little part? or Billy to fight Eubank Jr., either one Smith or Jr., yeah, and then go to Canelo. One more fight, I think Bill needs to get up there. Not that he can't do it now, but I think one more fight would be great for him. Um, you know, dig, dig in a bit deeper, and uh, listen, I'm at that, that, that will be a fucking definite pay per view. I mean, the crowd, the, the the fans want it. I know they do. You know, I hear it all the time. Yeah. You know that that'd be pay per view straight away. So great do you, fight. Do you think uh, Smith against Billy Joe's pay per view, mate? Yes or no? Would it be a pay per view? Yeah. It could be. Yes, it's a great fight. Do you no? Do you believe it's a, a pay per view? Yeah, because I do. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so. So Callum, so Callum Smith and who did we just say then? Sorry, Callum and it's, the Billy's next fight should be between Callum Smith and Chris Eubank. Jr. Well, Chris Eubank Jr. and Callum Smith. That's pay per view. Or even that. Either Eubank, way, yeah, Eubank, Eubank Jr. against Billy Joe again. Pay per view. Billy, Billy Joe against Callum. Pay either way, they're all pay per view. Pay per view. Right? Throw Canelo they're in. All pay -view. They're all great fighters. They're, they're all, all deserve it. With Canelo, yeah. They're the they're fights. John Ryder needs to not be forgotten all this as well, you know. 
John Ryder, he, he needs to be at mix for all, for all, for all uh, because he must have felt awful overnight. He's fighting a guy called Mike Guy, 12, 5, and 1, for God knows how much money. And you've got Callum, who oh, they say beat him, uh, fighting Canelo, but that's the harsh realities of boxing. It were a close fight, though, wasn't it? Yeah. We've seen them go either way and blah de blah, haven't we? But well, Chris, Chris Eubanks hasn't been out for a long time either, is he? Ryder's got to feel unfortunate. Sorry, go on, you were saying about what? Chris Eubanks hasn't been out for a while either, is he? In the UK. I think he's gone over to the States again training, hasn't he? I think he's in Vegas. Yeah, he's training with uh, Roy Jones, isn't he? Yeah. So that's, so that's... training now, he's training Roy Jones. Hmm. Okay, so that either of them fights would be great. Yeah, I mean, you could throw Daniel Jacobs and Golovkin into the mix as well. You've got a good little World Super Series 8. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, he, he's like a Canelo, isn't he, Golovkin? Um, so it could be any of them lot fighting, and it'd be a great fight. <coughs> it'd be fantastic, mate. It'd be fantastic. I mean, if it was a rematch with Canelo and Golovkin, who would you go for? Uh, hard. Canelo. Hard shout. Canelo. Canelo. Yeah. He's a younger yeah. man by about eight years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. got the edge, hasn't oh, he? Got the yeah. edge. I think he's complete fighter now, Canelo. Yeah, yeah. Shame in losing to him. You know, Floyd Mayweather got him at the right time. Yeah, that'd be a nice rematch, wouldn't it? Oh, no, he'd be, he wouldn't be able to get that. He wouldn't take it. No. Floyd wouldn't say that's dangerous. Right? 160 wanted to fight him. He'd break his record. <laughs> yeah, I don't no, I don't think that'll happen. Floyd won't want to go near him anyway. He only wants look, to fight look, him. Floyd's Floyd's gone down the other road now, isn't he? You know, easy money, YouTube fighters. I mean, that's not gonna be a fight. Exhibition fight. How can it be an exhibition fight? Well, I mean, he's deserved it. He's had a long career, hasn't he? Listen, we all got hyped up about uh, Mike Tyson with um, Jones Jr., didn't we? Yeah. Exhibition fight. I mean, it was fucking hard. You know, it wasn't really a fight, was it? I mean, Joe Jones Jr. was fucking punching and fucking jumping out of the way. Um, you could see there's no way. I mean, Tyson won that fight all day long, but and they weren't allowed to knock each other out. I mean, how can you do that when you're in a ring? Yeah. One geezer fucking really gives it to you, well, you're not giving back, back to him, you have to. Um, oh. I used to it was a big build-up, big hype for nothing, really, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, we were a load of knackers, mate. A load of, a load of baba. Yeah, I mean, you know. Pony. Mine and John's will be a... It, it's in, in, in aid of a charity event, and it always has been. But it will be like fucking knock each other out, do what you got to do, you know what I mean? Queensbury rules, but listen, you can knock them out. So, which would be more entertaining, you know? You, you know, the, the guys are going to be going for the, the you know, the, the knockout or, or whatever, you know? Uh, which is going to be more entertaining than these charity events, you know? Yeah, I can. I, I think that uh, you and John, will, you John Fury against Mickey Theo, I think it'll happen. I think it'll happen, mate. I think it'll well, happen. It'd be nice if it happens, um, basically. Get some money made for charity, mate. And the oh, wow. mental mental health was it as well? Which is a good shout. Throw them a few quid in as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm up for that. Yeah, so John, get in touch, pick up the phone. Give me a ring, John. Get me a number. I think you've got it anyway. Give me a ring. Yeah, so be, you know, Mickey on here, face on FaceTime, whatever they call it. Face it'd on. be nice. Yeah, it'd be nice to get him on the on the channel and and, and and have a little chat with him, you know. He's probably not a bad guy at the end of the day. Um, you know, you could have a whisper um, in his ear, mate, couldn't you? And just have, have a little listen, John. I wish I listen. He's got my number, he can get my number. He knows a few people who's got my number. John, get me on the phone, mate. I'll have a chat with you. A proper hot one to one chat, you know, no bollocks. Gentleman talk, ring me up, mate. You got my number, you can get my number. <clears throat> you, you know, a few people. Spencer's got my number, and someone else has got my number. You know, um, a lot of people got my number. Give us a ring, mate. Me and you and talk over the phone respectfully. If you start giving all the bullets, put the phone down, mate. I'll still be calling you out. So be respectful on the phone. Yeah, I'm a humble, respectful guy. You want to talk to me on the phone? Me and you, one on one, not a problem, mate. 
Um, alternatively, come on Porky's channel. Um, surely you've got people who's got his number. It'd be nice to talk to you. Show the crowd what, what's happening. Let's move forward on this if we can. And um, that's all I've got to say, mate. Well, let's get at it. And uh, listen, you have a good Christmas. You and the family, mate. All respects to you guys. But uh, I say I'm still challenging you. So That's let me know what you want to do. John Fury, Mickey Fio still wants to fight you. That's still on. Mickey wants it on. When it's going to happen, I don't know. But you still want it, don't you, Mick? 100%. So if you want a on fight, a million percent. It, a million percent. Not 100, a million percent. In other I respect you. I wish you happy happy Christmas because it's a few days away. Have a good time, mate. Have a few vodkas with me. And a few Guinness. I know you like Guinness. You drink, mate. Not really, no. 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 You like to have edge and that, don't you, mate? Sober and that. Like to have edge, lads. Well, not wrong with that, mate. Not wrong with that. Uh so you still want the fight? What, what? What? When we're looking at, mate? Do you think now? I think it could be June now. Well, now we can have it quick sooner, sooner than that. Yeah, April or something, mate. Yeah. Uh, maybe before that. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Early January, Feb. You only need. Sorry, sorry, oh, sorry. Not no. apologies for that. Sorry, February, March would be nice, mate. You only uh, need nod, don't you? A few weeks before, and you'll be ready, won't you? Yeah, listen, listen. If it's a if it's a go, yeah, it's lovely. Okay, we can move forward, publicise it a bit more, put it out there. Obviously, the more publicity we do, the more viewers we're going to get, and better for both of us and the national health. Yeah. So you no know, good rushing into it. Let's advertise it properly, pump it out there, and get the numbers. And that's what it's all about: getting the numbers for the NHS. Yeah. So if you want to do a good thing, John, for like the NHS and the mental health, that'd be great, you know. And I know you, I think he's all... Mate, you got the passing check to mental health and NHS in paper. That'd be passing lovely. Check. What a lovely thing to do. Guys and that. <laughs> yeah, that'd be all right, wouldn't it? Could get yeah, you on IFL. It'd be nice. <laughs> it'd be nice. <laughs> oh, Kruk Krug would be crawling around him, wouldn't he? <laughs> hey, hey Paul, you might want to interview me then. And I said, You can't be interviewing me, you're not allowed to. <laughs> video <laughs> might get taken down. The video might get taken down. Cool girl can run and say, All right, mate, yeah, it's a bit of it's a bit of raw beef between you and uh John Fury, and you'll say, No, it's more like laughing lunch and me. Okay, let's say the fight goes ahead. <laughs> Coogan will be on the phone, he'll be on the phone to me if it's going ahead, won't he? Yeah, oh, Coogan, Coogan, you know, if it happens, you will forget what you said about, mate, I can only deal with people. Yeah, but he's, he's lost me now, hasn't he? He's lost me. He's lost me now. Oh, Coogan. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. poor Boominator's gone, bless him. Um, well, running out of pals, Mick, aren't you? <laughs> so I've still got me old Porky hanging on there with me. <laughs> hanging on. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, is that what we're doing? Hanging yeah. on, waiting for well, you to say yeah, what listen, you, you want. You want it as much as I want it, and, and you know a lot of people that do as well. And I want to see, yeah. There's non, there's no non stop talking about this fight. Um, not everywhere, <laughs> not in your house, Mick. I bet. No, nah, we don't talk about things like that. Have you got a picture of John on fridge still, Mick? <laughs> Hang on, that fridge is there, see it. John's still on fridge. Let's see if I can zoom in. I can't, no. Hey, John. Oh, my God. <laughs> still got it. Go on, Mick. He's still oh, there. I'm Mick. Dedicated. You're the man that takes your work home with you like Mr. Bean, aren't you? A.K.A. Roy Cropper. There he is. Hi. Mick and John getting on. Let's do it. Yeah, go on, Mick. Go on. Team Mick. Go on, Mick. <laughs> Mick wants it, don't you, Mick? Eh? Want it, don't you, Mick? Badly. Of course I want it. Have you ever f thought about it, Mick? What was a man? You know, 50, what are you, 57, Mick, aren't you now, yeah? 57, just gone in October, yeah. 
a 57 year old wanting to fight an ex professional fighter. All yeah. the challenges put out and uh, having to put yourself through all this training, but you've always done you've always done it anyway, so that's no you, isn't it? And then doing yeah, these yeah. videos and putting your son out there and that. I mean, so, some off at bucket list, didn't it, Mick? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, what a person to pick as well, John Fury. <laughs> I mean, you want to see my inbox <laughs> on a daily basis. <laughs> <laughs> We're having to employ people to reply to all eight mail. I'm telling you now, we've had to set people on to deal with backlog and clutter. From this, I'm like, oh my God, what's going on here? We've created the monster. <laughs> no, yeah. You want to see some of it, mate? <laughs> I'll tell you what, you know, out there in the real world, there's some scary people. <laughs> I'm telling you that. <laughs> I'm telling you that because there's some, some people that shouldn't even be out of this, should be in mental institutions. I swear really? Social media can really open your eyes. Oh, yeah. Really Crazy. Yeah. I know. You know what? You just you got to fucking Dennis block Nielsen them. Dennis were bad. Oh my god! But yeah, go on, Mick. Sorry, you just got to block blank blank them in you. Oh them out. yeah, I like to see them though—the juicy ones. <laughs> Nothing. Oh my god. Yeah, but I mean, you know, they, they, these people give it all whatever they give it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And they're they're, 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 hidden, they're, they're hidden in a room somewhere, aren't they? Got nothing else better to do but do 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 ding. <laughs> yeah. So they say so they're hidden, they're hidden away. What what more can they do? You know what I mean? They get urges to do things like this, you know what I mean? To write bollocks down. Yeah, but you you've got to laugh sometimes, but you can't I have to best laugh yeah, I've had in ages. That's what you do. Laugh it off. Control, delete. Always, people say oh. to me, mate, right? They say, Rush, you've always got an happy goal look look lucky uh so well, yeah, mm. you want to see some uh, emails I get. Honestly, I could write a book. I've saved them all. Right. Well, I might do that. Uh, yeah, well, you should do that anyway. I think you should be up there doing it. Yeah, and it's me thinking I was a, a bad guy, Jesus. But it's part and parcel of it. We put ourselves out there, so we have to take the criticism with the people that say, "Do you know what? I'd like to see you fight John Fury because he keeps offering everybody out," which he does. That's the best. That's that's, the, that's the main that's the main email that we get. It's like ninety odd percent of it. The other nine percent of it, well, you have to put with that, don't you? But that's the main yeah. gist of the emails on the analytics. It's mainly well, he keeps offering Mike Tyson, Holyfield, and all these other people. Lennox, and the list is endless. And then you've gone well, okay. I'm Mick Fio. I knock a few Bentleys out in Essex. Got a Stone Island jacket and Timberland boots. I'm up for it. <laughs> that's the way put it. And they've yeah. gone, oh, uh, oh, we'll be at this date tomorrow. And if not, it's off altogether. That's how you nip it in, bud. Because Tyson mm. and his dad are experts with media. What would happen if the pros done that? They can't do it, can they? Do what, pros? Yeah, what well, if the pros started doing that? Oh, oh you like, mean if they had a mandatory guy and they had to fight him and yeah. uh, then they started giving all that, turn up tomorrow, fuck off. You know oh, you'd I mean? end up like Joe Calzaghe then, wouldn't you? Who, who said a lot about Carl Frotch, but when it comes down to it, he vacated, didn't he, and moved up a weight for two, lads, exactly. two fights against the old men in the 40s. Right, yeah. So, yes. You like that one again? Oh, you Calzaghe fans? Yeah. <laughs> Reeling you in. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> watch my inbox for that one tomorrow. Oh, my God. But, no, listen. listen I have personally got nothing against John Fury. And I want to see. I want obviously me and you will get on. Don't don't get on all right, don't we? But I'd like to see you and John get at it, just for my peace of mind. So I, and I know you do, mate. Because everyone's been, peace of mind, isn't it? Everyone. A lot into these financial as well as time there's, and effort. There's millions, millions of people out there that want peace of mind. You know, I've I, I seen it. I've seen it. Uh, I think it was on social media today that the people were saying that you know you should get on with uh, on your channel, do a Zoom with me. And get the fight on the fight that everyone wants to see out there. It's, it's up there with the big fights. That's what I'm 
I seen today, and I was quite, you know, honoured to hear that. Mate, you're making it um, sound like you're going to break all pay per view records. <laughs> listen, there's there's so much interest in this fight, you know what I mean? So Lost we'll see. Right, right, then, Tyson. I don't care. Listen, I'm not worried about records. We're doing it for a good cause at the end of the day, and yeah. it's helping people, isn't it? Go on, mate. So, so that's what it's all about at the end of the day. It's yeah. always like that from day one. Oh, giving in it, Mick. And remember, Spencer Brown said he John will not fight unless there's money on the table. That was his words. As a manager. Well, that's true. That's what he's only advising his client, isn't it there, really? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Happy Christmas to you, Spence, if you're watching this. I know we ain't spoke for a while. I ain't got grief with you. I'll take the weasel back. I'll take the chickens back. I'll take it all back. Have a good Merry Christmas, everyone out there. Sorry, that's that's to all the views that are out there that follows us and don't follow us and calls us what they want to call us. Happy Christmas to everyone and hopefully Happy New Year as well. And I hope everyone has a safe one throughout this season and going into the next year as well. And hopefully me and John get this fight on. That's all I've got to say tonight. All right, what's Santa bringing you for Christmas, Mick? I don't bloody know. <laughs> don't know. Not with an e though, do you, really, from what I've seen? <laughs> uh, you might get some aftershave off your last mic. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? She's next to me. <laughs> She's listening. She's like, give me the eyes. <laughs> no worries. Well, listen, mate, it's been great to have you on. Thank you. And, uh, we'll do it again sometime. And have a great evening. All right, my and you lot. You take care. And, and everyone out there, like, once again, happy Christmas and be safe. And look forward to seeing you in the next few days. Peace out. Peace out. Then, <laughs> Cheers, mate. Bye. Right. There we go. Well, that were Mickey Theo from Essex. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, it's been a long uh, day for me. So, peace Is out. I'm trucking. Keep supporting boxing.